Yeah, well, howdy guys. Uh, as you know, I had a problem with my Gerber folding saw. And uh, one of my subscribers, and I'm subscribed to him, uh, I'm ready for anything, uh, suggested the, uh, I believe it's Baco, B A H C O, Laplander uh, folding saw. Uh, so I bought one. Ordered it that day. Showed up yesterday. Uh, gotta say, as far as my initial impression, uh, pretty good saw. Uh, seems well put together. I really like the, the locking system a little bit better than I did on the, uh, the Gerber. Uh, feels pretty good in the hand. It's got a good, you know, real good uh, you know, rubberized coating on the outside of it. Uh, made in Sweden. High quality steel. Uh, I know everything that you buy says that somewhere on it, high quality or whatever. Uh, but when you compare it to our friend the Gerber, the first thing I know notice is it's noticeably longer, a uh, good bit longer actually. And uh, this is the saw that I, I took issue with. Uh, now I will say that the teeth on the Gerber are relatively more aggressive and longer and the blade is a good inch and a half two inches longer uh, when lined up one of the things that I the first thing I noticed that ma makes me kind of believe that this is going to be a uh, better knife or better saw I mean is uh, here on the back try to move this camera up a little bit here on the back of the saw, you can see, or you, can, you should be able to see, let's hope, that the uh, right there is the end of the blade for this Gerber saw. It just locks up into position and it comes up against a, uh, a bar that runs across there, which I kind of believe is probably how my spine got broke on this saw by putting a little bit too much downward pressure on it but uh, as I said in the other video I, I in no way abused this saw it was not a uh, the saw I was doing was on little limbs I mean I didn't try and cut down a house with it or anything but I like on the backhoe and I think I say that, saying that right that the uh, the end of the blade is notably further down the handle uh, which I'm going to believe is going to give it a little bit better dur durability and lifespan. Uh, it didn't come with a sheath or a uh, an extra blade, which you know the sheath is no big deal, but I kind of wish it had had an extra blade uh, somewhere. I like the, I'm going to find one of them and send them out, or because you know blades on saws are expendable. Uh, they deteriorate with use and you know if you do break one in the field now you have a tool that's completely useless to you so uh, I will look for another blade for it uh, I'll get it out put it through the paces throw it in the pack uh, came with this handy dandy little leather lanyard uh, I typically take leather off and put on a piece of paracord but I'm going to leave that on there just because a good chunk of leather uh, has some uses in the bushcraft world and it is a good chunk of leather but uh, anyway that's my real quick you know, breakdown on this Laplander uh, I'll take it out put it through its paces do some sawing with it and uh, I just you know when you pick something up and you can just feel that it's better or good quality when you pick that Laplander up you can just tell uh, just by the weight and the mass and just how sturdy it is that uh, it's probably going to be a good item the, uh, the Gerber like I said before it was not hack on Gerber week uh, just had some issues and uh, I don't believe that uh, the Gerber saw is you know, it's only 20 bucks they're both only 20 bucks, 25 bucks. I don't remember what I paid for them. Uh, 
you know, the Gerber saw, and I said this in the last video, even though it's broke and the spine's broke here, it still works. So, I mean, it's not like it's complete garbage and useless once it's broken. But, uh, or once it breaks the way mine did. But it just doesn't seem to be the saw that this Laplander is. Uh, we'll take her out, give her a workout a couple times over the next couple of months. And if I have issues, you'll sure know about them. And if I don't, it's probably be the last video I mean I make on it. Uh, not only did the gentleman that turned me on to it, you know, not only did I look at his opinion of it, and he's got a video on it, uh, I'm ready for anything. I'm, I am, I think it's RDY number four anything, or something to that effect. He's in my subscriptions, check him out. Uh, he does a little bit better review on it, does some, I mean, takes one out and does some sawing and stuff with it. Uh, which you'll get to see mine in the upcoming months in my outdoor videos. Uh, put to work, I'm sure. But uh, he does a review on it. Uh, then I looked at some others before I actually just went and bought it. And uh, everybody seems to like it. So we'll find out. Uh, appreciate you watching. Like I said, just a quick little video. Uh, if you like the videos I'm putting out, hit the subscribe button. Uh, press like. And uh, we'll catch you next time.